Hello everyone, back to another video. And today I'm going to show you the updated version of my admin panel that I made a video on a while back. It's come to my attention that it actually kind of broke. I just, uh, like, I used Heroku for um, hosting the proxy thing, and that doesn't work anymore. And I've been using a whole different thing, like the past videos I made, but I haven't fixed this one yet, I don't think. So I'm going to show you the updated version. So in the link in the description, all you have to do is get this admin mm -hmm. panel module or admin panel model, insert it, and then take the admin folder, put it in replicated storage, take the admin server manager script and put that in server script service. And then you want to open this script right here. And then first for your admins, you want to put the user ID. So you want to go to your, the profile of the person, copy their ID from the, uh, from the URL and then put it in the table. And then if you wanna add another one, you just put a comma and then another user ID. But if not, you just keep it like that. And now for the URL, uh, you just wanna to go to your Discord server. Hold on, let me clear this real quick. You just wanna to go to your Discord server, go to server settings, integrations, webhooks, and then copy your webhook URL or create one if you haven't already. And now we're going to be using uh, a different proxy for this one. It's a lot more simpler to use. Uh, just go to the website, link to the description, and it's pretty much your step-by-step. -step. So once you're on the website, where it says webhook URL here, just paste your webhook URL, and then copy the new one, and then paste it right there. And that's all you need to do. And you can go ahead and click play. And you'll see this button right here, which is the admin panel. Just click that and then you select players so i'll select myself uh reasons slash values is where you put like uh reasons or values and then you just type test i guess kick and then you can kick test and then oh yeah i forgot you have to have http requests on first in game settings so just go to setting security and allow http requests and then then I'll start setting the webhooks. Just do the same thing. Test kick. And now here it says snark kick snark for test. Then um I think I have a stat setting thing. So if you t enable stats command enabled, I believe. And then go to your and then where it says leader stat folder name. If you set this to the folder name of your where like your stats are set and then you set the stats with the value and then click the set stat button. It'll set every value in there. That's a number value or integer value to the value you set. So that's also pretty simple. Um, yeah, you can also set the theme. If you go to the admin folder, go to theme color, you can set it to like red like that and then play. And then everything in here will be set to red. So that's basically how you set the theme. It's pretty simple.